Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if I'm reading this correctly. You tell me. The Politico article will be below. We'll call them the T. This is the adversarial group within Afghanistan. And just for the algorithm, we'll call them the T. Austin contradicts Biden, says Americans have been beaten by the T. The president said Friday that the U.S. was not aware of Americans having trouble getting to the airport in Kabul. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin told lawmakers, and by the way, this is a political article. I'm not making this up. I'm not a fan of the Democratic Party. This is the worst president of all time. There's not even a comparison. You can't say Trump is worse than Biden. You can't say Trump is more of a narcissist than Biden because you have to be the most arrogant the most foolish and the most egotistical man on the planet to simply spite Trump, to to ignore Trump's methodical, strategic, well-thought-out withdrawal and negotiated deal that would have given us time to bring home every American from Afghanistan, every Afghan. And I want every single Afghan to be citizens tomorrow, to be a citizen You help Americans, you risk your life, I want you to be a citizen. H.A. Goodman wants you to be a citizen immediately. We owe that as a country. We owe a debt of gratitude to our veterans of Iraq and Afghanistan, Desert Storm, Vietnam. We can never repay you as a country and we love you. But to the Afghans who helped us, I want them to become citizens immediately and their extended families and their families. But what is this about Americans being beaten? In a country we should have left already years ago and don't... Biden is the man who voted alongside Bush, Cheney, and Rumsfeld, the Lincoln Project people. Bill Kristol... The neoconservative Bush administration hawks got us in there with the help of Kerry and Biden and Clinton and the morally superior superior Democrats. They're morally superior. God bless them. They don't believe in God, but God bless them. They're morally superior and they look in the mirror and they say, at least we're not Trump. And they had a negotiated deal that would have brought us out of Afghanistan. On January 21st, Biden could have simply implemented Trump's deal. And we would have left. And yes, the country would have fallen. But the country would have fallen at any point in the past 20 years. The Soviets lost in that country. The French lost in Vietnam before we ever entered We don't learn from history. We're ignorant. Well, actually, we are not ignorant. The intelligentsia, the unintelligent intelligentsia, the intelligence agencies who focused on Facebook ads. Do you care still about Trump pressuring Zelensky? Is that a tough thing to swallow? Is that something so difficult? Is that our democracy at stake? Remember when Trump pressured Zelensky? We are being... Our citizens are being beaten by the T, physically confronted. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. Tell your friends about this channel. We're almost at 200,000 subscribers, and it's because of you. By the way, I was published in the Jerusalem Post, an op-ed. It is below. Share it everywhere. It's in the pinned comment. To my super thanks, thank you so very much. And if you want to support this channel long term, my Patreon is below in the pinned comment. But to the super thanks, I can't thank you enough. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin told lawmakers uh, Friday that Americans trying to leave Afghanistan have been beaten by T fighters. According to several people who participated in a briefing call, they are physically, you know, They're physically confronting and beating Americans there. This is Biden's America. 
No, forget about the soaring inflation and crime and all the hysteria on social media and the suppression of, of dialogue and discussion. Biden had every single possible advantage and even CNN and even the Daily Beast is turning on him. He's the worst president of all time. No, Bush is. George W. Bush was the worst president of all time. Got us into this mess. And notice how the, 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 the most deviant people in American politics become artists. I don't know how that works. Bush is an artist. Hunter is an artist. I'm telling you, Biden will have his own, his own um, you know, show very soon. Performance art. Who knows what he's going to... Maybe poetry. Hey, some, man, come on, man. Cornflakes, come on. Hey, Cornflakes makes me want to bake. Who know? I don't know what he's going to say. But cornflakes put on the brakes. Who knows? Come on, man. Who knows? It'll be one of those, what is that, slam poetry of years back. Who knows what he's going to do? And when he does, it's going to be, oh, you know what? It's, you know, Biden, amidst uh, turmoil and chaos around the world, Taiwan has been invaded by uh, China. We have... Uh, Soaring inflation, uh, you know, economy is tanked, but you know, there's a new uh, art gallery from Biden. Yes. And I mean, it's all public relations. Democrats work on public relations alone. Why is it that we are being physically confronted, beaten, you know, interrogated? Well, we know why. The T control the country. The car, they, they have, they hold all the cards. Okay, this is not a difficult concept to understand, okay? Germany and Japan completely, okay, their governments were allies of our government immediately after 1945, okay? We helped rebuild their governments and their governments became allies and they didn't face counterinsurgency conflicts. They didn't face any military conflict that could have toppled their government okay maybe japan it, it, like but not they, they didn't face germany and japan did not face what what the afghans had to deal with the t has always been waiting going to other countries coming back it, it's always been an issue where they've basically controlled most of the country it's night and day. You can't say, well, we left Americans in Germany and Japan. They weren't the, pro the, the governments that, that allow our soldiers to be stationed. Well, they're, they weren't the combatants. That's a completely different story. Those, the, the combatants, the governments that used to exist, fell in 1945. There were pretty much no. There was pretty much no remnant. Pretty much, ex ex essentially, there was no remnant of that government. And then they turned a, ch a chapter after untold barbarism. And you know, you couldn't, you can't describe how the chapter, that chapter, turned to another chapter. But it's night and day. You can't use Americans. Men and women as chess pieces. A chess piece is made of porcelain or plastic, okay, or metal or whatever. A chess piece does not have a family, does not have a brother or sister, a father or mother, a husband or wife, a son or daughter. A chess piece is inanimate. A human being cannot be used as a chess piece, which is what President Obama and Bush and Bernie Sanders would have done. Bernie Sanders is a tool of the Democratic Party. That's how you go from Bernie Sanders to Trump. Because Trump said, here's a negotiated deal. Bernard Sanders wouldn't negotiate anything. If they told him to jump, they'd say, oh, how high? How high, Deborah Wasserman? How high do you want me to jump? Trump fights. Biden doesn't, I don't know, what is he doing? What does Biden do? Who knows what he does? What does he, what does this man do? We're being beaten Literally beaten. 
Look, read, and, and the Pentagon contradicted Biden on this. I'm not making this up. Read the Politico article. This is unbelievable. Biden is the second worst president of all time. Give me your thoughts below after George W. Bush. By the way, does he know what's going on? Does the man know what's going on? <laughs> 